So one thing that really gets talked about is the negative effects of this player movement error that we've been in in the past few years. And I believe Carmelo Anthony is one of the first players beloved throughout the league, especially from other players and fans. Well, he's going to suffer from this dearly. And Kevin Durant is not too far along. Melo, in a way, has not done enough on the teams that he's been in to actually cement a place within those teams as a legacy player. We see his peers like Dwayne Wade is going to get a statue in Miami. LeBron James will always be, if not one of the biggest figureheads ever in Cleveland basketball history. And unfortunately for Melo, he requested a trade from the Denver Nuggets about eight seasons in when the year prior, they were one of the best teams in the Western Conference until their coach, George Call, came down with some cancer. And him requesting a trade a year after pretty much gutted this team. They eventually lost key pieces like Chauncey Billups, J.R. Smith, Kmart, and Marcus Canby all left within free agency. So Melo, just like Kevin Durant currently, is struggling to find a place to hang up his jersey and to sort of reminisce with a particular fan base about his career and have them hold it to a high esteem. Let's take a look at what Melo had to say. Look me in my eyes. You had to feel a way when they gave Jokic <laughs> yeah, yeah. that 15, bro, because that's Melo. Hell yeah. Melo just made one trip to the Western Conference with the Nuggets, and they also gave that number 15 jersey to Anthony Randolph. So it's nothing new for them to give his number away. Did you think it was a petty maneuver? It was a petty maneuver. It wasn't like, oh, we got numbers to choose from. It was like, here. Take this one. You got 15. Ooh. And y'all put Jokic in the middle of that. He don't know what the f He don't even care. He could have been like, I want to wear 15. He could have been like, 15 is here. I can wear 15. Oh, that's Melo's number. You know what I mean? Like, just pay homage. I don't know. He could have wore because he wanted to pay homage. Right. But what I believe is that they gave him 15 to try to erase what you did over what there, I your did. Your accomplishments over there. That's there. crazy. I used to think about it. I don't think about this shit no more, though. Yeah. Because what's meant to be is meant to be. Yo, in a way, Melo, Melo is uh, pretty self-centered in a way. <laughs> He's always been about himself. All his peers, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and LeBron James all took pay cuts to be in Miami. And we didn't see a shift in Melo's career until that actually happened, which is really understated. Carmelo was really viewed on the same level as LeBron. Remember, he went to the Western Conference Finals and went up against Kobe. And since he'd been in the league, he kept leading the Denver Nuggets into the playoffs. Unlike LeBron, it took him about four seasons to do that in a much weaker Eastern Conference. So not until LeBron James went to Miami with D. Wade and Chris Bosh, that's all the NBA was talking about. So Melo, in order to cement his name, he requested a trade to New York. You started hearing rumors about his wife not wanting to live in Denver. And unfortunate for him, he hasn't quite done enough in a Knicks jersey to cement his legacy within that franchise. They have jerseys up in the rafters that achieve far more than what Melo has achieved wearing a Knicks uniform. And that's no shot to the brother. It is what it is. Just a second round playoff appearance for the Knicks is not really saying much. But at the end of the day, guys like Kevin Durant, he is going to suffer from the same thing if he does not find a consistent home and make enough impact on that franchise. He's not a homegrown Phoenix Suns player or he wasn't the same in Brooklyn. He didn't stay over there long enough. Plus, he requested out. Golden State is not going to hold Kevin Durant to the same esteem because they did not draft and craft him. Unlike Stephen Curry, that will always be a Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green home base. So Kevin Durant is not too far along from Melo. He's going to have to bring at least a championship to Phoenix. He's going to have to do somewhere. So when he retires, he could cement his legacy within that franchise and have that fan base hold him to a higher esteem than any other fan base. And that's Melo's main issue. He's sort of 50-50 because he can't go back to Denver, even though he did spend eight seasons there as well as the Knicks. But at the end of the day, he forced himself out. And when he went to New York, he just didn't really do enough impact-wise. But again, this is one of the few negatives from the free player movement we've seen in the past few years in the league, and it doesn't get talked about enough.